Hi there! Welcome back to the Innovation YouTube channel! Have you ever seen this port of your PoE switch and this special kind of cable connector? You might not have used yet. What is a big deal in office and businesses, especially when you need to cover long distance, like with fiber cables? Surprisingly, it's not only just for fiber, it also works with regular cables like RJ45. This is SFP. But you still might wonder, what is SFP? And how to use it? And what's the value inside? All right, so today we're gonna to talk about this. The SFP port stands for Small Form Factor Pluggable Port. The SFP port is a compact slot designed to accommodate the insertion of the SFP transceiver, also known as SFP module. It's hot swappable that allows you to connect the fiber optic or copper ethernet cables to the switch. SFP ports are commonly used for uplink connections to other switches or network devices. The SFP port on the PoE switch is used for high speed, the SP Plus for 10 gigabit and low latency, according to this latency chart, which is a microseconds and long distance. Type ZX can go max up to 80 kilometers data connectivity. And the SFP typically for uplink connections in the network. It allows you to connect the switch to other switches, routers, and network devices using fiber optic or copper ethernet cables. Now let's talk about what would benefit for industrial application. The SFP port in PoE switches allows for flexible connectivity options. They support both fiber optics and ethernet cables providing versatility and connecting different devices and accommodating various network setups. And SP ports facilitate the integration of the fiber optics, extending the reach of the network. Fiber optics allows for longer transmission distance without a signal degradation, overcoming the distance limitations of the standard Ethernet cable. PoE switches with SFP ports offers scalability for industrial networks. As the network grows, additional devices can be easily added without a need for significant infrastructure changes, providing a cost-effective and scalable solution. The SFP ports support high-speed data transfer, crucial for applications requiring swift and reliable data transmission. This is particularly important in industrial settings where real-time data communication is essential. In today's testing video, we'll guide you through the process of setting up the SFP transceiver. Additionally, we'll demonstrate the testing of connecting two PoE switches using SP fiber cables. First, we'll present a quick installation guide, aiming to assist you in quick understanding how to install the SFP port and transceiver and this will encompass both fiber optic and RJ5 interface. Alright, so welcome to our lab. And today we talk a lot about the SFP ports. This little compact slot has tons of advantages can bring to your application. And of course, today's task is about SFP and how to connect the two PoE switches by through the SFP ports. And we're gonna show you that with two different type of 
transceiver, the RG45 and the fiber optics. And of course the fiber optics cable and the Ethernet cable. And to transmit the data from the PDZ camera to the POEMAR and eventually you will see the live video on the monitor. All right, so before we get started, we're gonna meet all the devices that will be used in today's test. First, we're gonna use the PoE switch has SFP ports. And usually, um, this kind of PoE switch has two SFP ports and fiber optic cables and of course, Ethernet cables. And the PDZ camera, PoE MVR, and a monitor. All right, so let's get started. Let's start by connecting the PDZ camera to the PoE switch. We're gonna insert the SIP transceiver fiber optic version to the SIP ports. Plug in fiber optic cable to the SIP transceiver. Now let's move to this side and connect the, the PoE MVR to the PoE switch and insert SIP transceiver to the SIP ports and plug in fiber optic cable. See, as you can see that the indicator lights are start flashing. In a scenario like this, where all ports on your PoE switches are occupied by the devices, and yet you still need a port to connect with other network devices like PoE switches and routers, it is preferable to use an Ethernet cable. And the transmission distance should be within the range of Ethernet transmission, like 100 meters. In such a situation, the SIP port and RG5 transceiver can help you accomplish this task. And the next following test will exactly match the needs like this. And insert the SFP ports RT45 version and uh, plug in the Ethernet cable and connect the PTZ camera to the PoE switch. And on this side, insert the SFP transceiver. Plug in, extend the cable, and connect the PLE MVR. That's it. 